Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Ah! We're here, Erev Pesach, although some of you might be seeing this year a little later. So I want to thank everybody that came out today. It's a bunch of you. We have a special guest from Alaska. Maybe I'll call him up in a minute. Get ready to come up from this side. We have a guest from Lakewood. And we have some of the usuals. A lot of people couldn't come today because it's Erev Yantav. So it's unbelievable that you're out here. And a tremendous shukayach. Just a few emails. Um, Erev Pesach. Hi, Rebelli. Since attending the CM past Thursday, this is from Gedalia Miller, who flew in from New York for the CM. Since attending the CM past Thursday, a feeling gratitude, emotions, and inspiration keeps on coming up. I don't believe as the person preparing giving this share, you take in and understand the tremendous cause. You have to touch so many lives in Kalei Yisrael. Shkoyach. Number one. Two years ago, I attended the Sunday program of the Good Convention I signed by my father, even though he attends a minimum of two years a day. Lo and behold, I had the flu twice, and keeps on telling me, Rebelli mentions Kesher Navshi, so I know he listens to the year. Almost daily. Number two, my feelings from attending many, many siyumim. I realize you're touching many clients so that would not have opened up the Gemara Evan in their entire life. If not for the sheer, let me explain. It's the many broken people, the learning disabled, off the derech kids, adults. We have other people as well, by the way. They have inspired to learn daily, inspire me when you show, when I show up. Dancing with the truth so they can rip away time from wherever they are. And maybe even the shari tuma, memta shari tuma, taking an hour to attend the sheer live zoom, etc. I want to give you a birchas head here that says, I know you invest most of your day preparing and designing the shir. We only see Yiddish and Achas and Simchas with our Chavaz Adas, the Rigas Chaks, Koshva Sameach, Yedidya Gedalia Dovid Ben Brana Miller, Freiluch and Pesach. And, Hi from Yossi Mandelbaum and the entire MDY team. I just got up from Shiva for Abi. And I was thinking about it today. It's like, it didn't hit me yet. That smiling face that we have every day for four years on Zoom is no longer here. My entire family is touched by the amazing effort you and your entire share have put into davening and learning for Avi, as well as the simply shocking amount of in-person Nicho Mavelam from this year. Every day, many people showed up in person to pay Shiva a visit, be it Tinek, Baltimore, Mareshet. Still more people reached out over social media. During a break, my sister and I listened to your Hespit at the beginning of Shir. I'm told there were other mentions of him, but for obvious reasons, I haven't gotten to the shir yet. Truly, my brother was a wonderful person who touched so many through his friendliness and good humor. Again, thank you for your kind words and thank the shir for their amazing turnout. We are truly touched. Yossi Mandelbaum. Marvin Diamond. This is a very famous joke, and I asked my family if they heard it, and they all said yes. But because it's an email, I'll read it as an email. A little simple before Pesach, a lady calls the rabbi at 10 p.m. Air of Pesach, wife, rabbi, we scattered 10 pieces of bread around the house, and my husband only found nine of them. What should we do? The rabbi says, is the bread the size of Kezayis? Yes. So he has to find it. At midnight, she calls again. My husband has already dismantled the closets, the rugs. Can't find it. There's nothing to do. We must search until he finds it. 2 a.m., she calls again. Rabbi, we all tried. My husband has searched 700 times with the gematria of Shabbos, searched the roof, opening plumbing, everything. Rabbi, if it's his eyes, there's no choice has to find it. Wife, can I at least give him a hint? <laughs> okay. I guess you didn't hear yet. You didn't hear? Okay. No. Been with you since Megillah, says Shmuel Brass from North Miami Beach. Thank you and your staff for all the effort you put into elucidating the daf with such clarity. As far as taking out the seam I made in North Miami Beach, a Nazir. I guess there was more than one seam there because there was an official one. I was so taken by Rabbi Turgeman that I think if he lived in the base of Migdosh, I would have done a 30 din zeros. When you asked Rabbi Turgeman why he became a Nazan, he said, the moment he made another, his conscience opened up and he has since written several, several spots. Here's a picture I'm announcing to my family that I'm declaring myself, listen to this, Rabbi Isai, a phone Nazar for 30 days. Replacing my Yates Sahara, time-killing, neshama-damaging smartphone with a kosher phone. I can't say there's a connection, but the same day I made that declaration, I had an unexpected financial windfall. With the miser from that deal, anyone that says like him, after you read this, I'll subsidize a kosher phone purchase. So far, four, four people have said like him, and they too are phone nazirs. Thanks again. Listen, Shmuel Brass, North Miami Beach, Florida. The miser from these kind of things goes directly to MDY. Forget the phones. <laughs> and here he is. This is where he's saying, you know who that person is? Who? Oh, it didn't go well. I have to show it, Taka. You're right. There you go. There's a little seal. It looks cool. North Miami Beach. 
Yeah. All right. Rabbi Yisai, jump right into the sponsors. The coil sponsor by Anonymous from Lakewood. Second sponsor for the coil, Ruben Klein, in honor of my daughter, Eliza, becoming a Kala, the Tzvichayim Nadov from Toronto. You could also become a coil sponsor. It's only $10,000 a month. And you could also sponsor the Msechta. We're deep into the Msechta, but we still don't have a sponsor. The sponsor of the month, Lili Nishmas, Chaim Elephant, Chaim Ben Yaakov Shmoz, Chaim Lebrach, by his West Side friends. Second sponsor, Lili Nishmas, is a Chaim Ben Moshe. Third sponsor, then the wife, Eli Nishmas, Chaim Orin, is a Chaim Lebrach, Ben Yibal, Chaim Elio. Okay, sponsor of the month, Linishmas Chaya Bas Yosef, sponsor of the month, the fifth one. The entire NDY family, Linishmas Avramanasha Ben Moisha Aaron Mandelbaum. I guess there's no sponsor of the day, no sponsor of the week. The art is sponsored for complete refuel for Chaim Tzvi Ben Leir. Boy, I have a more like a daf today. Daf Ches, starting five lines down. Shesham Mashkim Esasoitos. So before we start, Real quickly, I want to remind the Olam of a halacha that I said a number of days ago. I think it's super important. Not everybody knows this halacha. By the way, oh, Tzadik, here, come. All, he came all the way from Alaska. One of the big reasons is because he wanted to attend the live shir. You want to attend the live shir, you come to Ramat B'Chemish. By the way, here in Ramat B'Chemish, I saw a video of today, this morning, of, here, come, come around. The, there was over 20 people. I'll show you a video of it. I wanted to put it in. Shalom Aleichem, all the way from Alaska. Aleichem What's your shalom. name? Israel Mir Cohen. Maybe a duck in, a yeah, duck in, all the way from Alaska. How many people do the daf in Alaska? I've only seen one other person there. One? What? There's more than one from guy there? Oh, that actually lives in Alaska. Like one tourists have seen many, but wow, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for coming and have a Freil from Pesach. Where are you going to be for Pesach? You have a place yeah. and everything. Hashem. All right. Answered right away as soon as I. Yeah, you know it reminds me my mechutin. There you go back to your seat. Shkoyach, thanks Shkoyach. for coming up here. My mechutin. Reli Kapalovich was going to be our guest for Pesach. And he called us up an hour ago and he said his flight was canceled. And he, he was in the airport for many hours and they said another hour, another hour. But kids are delayed. And Baruch Hashem, we put the message out there and a family chopped him up. He doesn't have any food, not an ounce of mar, not a kazais of, uh, of matzah, nothing. Him and his, his children, his four people, it's unbelievable. So you see, like you, Chesed Hashem, you got it, he got it, Baruch Hashem. I just want to say this halacha real quickly. The Ramayish Sternbach says, with the Dal Kais, is the most important halacha is, and the most important thing, and if you don't have this idea thing, you're not yoyed to the Dal Kais. And that is, you have to enjoy the wine. Unbelievable chiddush uh, to me, meaning if you're at the fourth cup and you just can't get it to go down, and that happens to me sometimes, try something lighter, to the point that he says it's much more important to drink grape juice than to drink wine and not enjoy it. That's what he says. I thought it was a chiddush atzum. So here we go. So we'll go to this uh, chart right over here. This is where, this is Sharni Connor, this is where they, they give the soita to drink because it's directly the Sharni Connor, that door that's named after the Connor who donated the doors, is right opposite the Heichal. You can see the Heichal, the Kodesh HaKadoshim. If you keep, keep on going with that do, double arrow, you go directly into the Kodesh HaKadoshim. So that's why the Saita is, to give it a drink right over there. Says the Gemara, Bishloima, Saita is, Dichsev, Hamed HaKoyen, Say Isha, Lefnei Hashem. It has to be Lefnei Hashem. So Hashem, so to speak, is right there in the Kodesh HaKadoshim. It's right opposite the Kodesh HaKadoshim. It says also over the Lefnei Hashem, great. So, this. here we have it again. A woman who gave birth to an Akeva. This is just an Akeva. Zohar is half the time of this. A Zohar would be, she would be tummy for seven days, and then she has 33 free days of Tahara, and then on day 41, she goes, she brings the karma. But the mikvah is day seven, the carbon is day 41. Over here, it's for, she gave birth to a girl, so 14 days she's tamay, tamayo, then she goes to the mikvah on day 14, 66 days of tahara, a total of 80, on day 81, she brings a carbon. She goes to the base of Amigdash, brings her carbon. So, says the Gemara, 
Elo Yuledes, my time, why does the Yuledes bring her carbon right there by Sharni Connor? Ila even shown the Asin the Kaiman the Korban Ayu, this idea, this Achiyov, for whoever brings a carbon to be right there. So, yeah, let me ask you a question. If you have to be right there, every single morning a carbon plummet is brought in the base of Migdash, every afternoon a carbon plummet is brought in the base of Migdash, who brings that carbon plummet? Who pays for it? Very good. Klai Yisrael. So, where's Klai Yisrael? Woo! We got Tamil Chacham here, Mavish, these Bachama. Oh, Tainas. Just the Tainas. Very good. Okay, great. You see, that's why it's Kedai to learn this thing. How many Bachram know this stuff? How many guys? There's something called Mamodais. Explain. What's a Maimon? No, tell us. What's a Maimon? There was representatives of the Yivin that every week they would go to the I'm not going to turn the camera because I'm scared. But yes, there was representatives of Klai Yisrael. How many representatives were there? How many groups? That's the Mishmaris. Okay, I don't remember either how many how many groups. Okay. The Mamadais were Jews that represented other Jews. So you don't not all millions of Jews have to be in the Mesamidish every day. You have a few representatives. Okay. But cheese, bring your carbon. Rabbi Zayan, can I get some water, please? I forgot. forgot. Here, oh, we got over here. A cup, okay. Thank you very much. So she brought a carbon, she wants to be there. She will the Hashem. Maybe you'll say because you have to be there. You shouldn't bring a carbon unless, thank you very much, unless you're mamish there. So I just want to go on to the next chart. And this, these are all charts from yesterday. In, in terms of Mechusar Kippurim, there's only four Mechusar Kippurim. Now we showed the slide yesterday how it looked. Person brings a car, uh, has to bring a carbon. And before they bring the carbon, they're tummy. So they go to the mikvah. When they go to the mikvah, they're not completely tar until the evening that's called Har of Shemesh. But they're not completely, completely tar until they bring a carbon that's called Mechusa Kippurim. There's only four types of people that are Mechusa Kippurim. Are you ledes, a Metzoira, a Zav and a Zav. So we dealt with all of them beside the Zav and a Zav. Ask the Gemara, the bottom ones, the Zav and a Zav, why... So why is Zav and Zav not mentioned that they have to be there by the Shani Khan? You're right. They all have to be there. The Tana didn't bring all the whole list. The Tana said, one, two of the list in Shalom Yisrael. Tana Rabbon. I put this in there, might as well show it. This is what a Zav is, a Zav and a Zava. And it happens to be that I was looking for, I knew that we had a better picture of this, because in the book for Nazir, here it is. This is the better picture. And basically Yoshi took my, that's my diagram, I did this years ago, and he took it and he made it a lot nicer. So I went in there, and sure enough, it wasn't in Daf Mem Dalet, although in the book it's in Daf Mem Dalet. So I realized that Yoshi just upgraded it, put it in the book, but he didn't put it in the slide. And it's already yelled by them, so I, didn't, I couldn't ask him for it. Agobarim, Azov is somebody that saw, let's say, two Re'iyos of Ziva, which is not carry, it's just a disease. If he saw two, three Re'iyos, we're talking about somebody that saw three, because he has to bring a carbon at that. So if he saw three times some sort of fluid, either in one day, in three different times, or in three different days. So on day, he has to be tar, he can't see anything for seven days, goes to the mikvah, and on day eight, he brings a carbon, that's what you see over on day eight, bring the carbon. Okay. Says the Gemara, On the same time, you don't bring two soites to the Beis HaMikdash, because let's say one of them is innocent, so she'll insist that she's not a soito. I'm not going to confess, I'm not going to confess. The other soito, who let's say was over the Avera, she should confess, she's going to get chizok. She's going to become stronger because of the soito that really didn't sin. So you don't want to confuse the two. 
Each one comes at a different time. You're right, you don't bring two soydas, but you said the wrong reason. It says she should be there by herself. It says in the Pasuk Oysa. How come the Tanakama doesn't bring the Apostle? Tanakama Rib Shimon, he, the Dorish, time the crow. So Rib Shimon threw out Shas. Darshan's the reason behind the Pasuk Rashi brings here. The Torah says that you shouldn't uh, take a Simla from, for a Mashkun. And Rib Shimon says that's only talking about somebody who's poor. Somebody's poor is going to need it every day. You're going to go to their house every day. And people are going to be her from an almana who's poor. They're going to be chayshed the almana that she's being mizan. But if she's wealthy, he says, Rib Shimon, that pasuk doesn't apply. That's time of the crowd. That's saying, I know the reason why you shouldn't take a mashkin like that from her. You should give it back. And Afal Pikein, we say, this is my brother calling in middle shares. I'm just showing him that I'm talking. I'm not going to say I'll call you a little later. Um, so, but that, that's saying a time to crow. I know the reason, and the reason doesn't apply to a wealthy woman. Says the Gemara. So over here also. Rib Shimon, umatam kamar. I'll tell you the reason. Matam about Yeah, the Torah says, mefurish, that there should only be one saita. I'm explaining to you the reason I could have put that in the tire. So, I used the Pasuk. I'm just telling you the reason behind the Pasuk is that one shouldn't have a Shpa on the other. My Benai. What's the difference between the two? Manda Omer, Miki Benai, or Recesses means a woman who's shaking. She's so scared about what's going on here that she's not going to be influenced by anybody else. If she sticks to her guns and she says, I know for a fact I was a Mizana, I'm not a Saita, then if the reason is Gaspo, then you could take it, you could do two women at the same time. Why? Because you see that she's not having any ashba from another person. But if it's Xerisa Kasov, it says only one one site at a time. I don't care if she's shaking like a leaf or not, it's one site and that's it. Says the Gemara, we have another problem. You shouldn't be doing two mitzvahs at a time. Do one thing at a time, one site at a time. Why? You should not give two sites to drink at the same time. And when you have two mitzvahs that come at the same time, you don't do the whole procedure at Shani Connor with the blood on the finger, on the thumb, and the, 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 the big toe, and on the ear, and the oil, the whole thing, one at a time. Here's the picture, the famous Eglarufa, and that is if they found a dead person between two cities, and we don't know where the, the body belongs to, so the Chacham come out there, and they chop the, the calf's head off, and they said, you didn't know the Adam Why? But, so if you have two of these issues, you don't do it at the same time. When you do two things at the same time, it looks like there's a burden. Like the, like the mitzvah is a burden. I'm trying to get rid of it. Eh, we're doing it already. Let's do both of them. Let's knock it out. Our boy I think it's a tremendous ashgacha that we're learning this sugya today, Erev Pesach, because one of my favorite stories, I always say a lot about, about a lot of stories. This one, had a tremendous hashpa on me. It's one of my favorite stories. A very simple story, but it happened on Erev Pesach. And it's this idea of Enois and Mitzvah's Chavilas Chavilas. As much as I love this story, I don't remember saying it recently. So I have to say it. There, it was Erev Pesach, and I forgot who it is. The Tasha Rebbe, the Absha Rebbe, I forgot which Rebbe, went on Erev Pesach to bake matzahs, Erev Pesach matzahs. Yeah, right here in Lincolnwood. The bank right now. Erev Pesach Matzis. Okay. I remember saying the story. I think I said the story in Psochem. Since then, I don't remember if I said it or not. Achoparim. He goes to Big Matzis. He's done with the Matzis. And he goes over to the guy that, that helped him over there. One of the guys that was putting the Matzis in the oven. He goes, he gives him a tip. So the Chassid tells the Rebbe, he says, Rebbe, you don't have to give me a tip. You're already yaitza with the tip that you gave me a month ago when you baked the regular matzahs. Now it's Erev Pesach matzahs. Okay, 
You ready, Yaitze? So the Rebbe said, Ich bin nicht gedugge kimmen zu Yaitze sein. Ich bin nicht gedugge kimmen auf der Welt zu Yaitze sein. Something like that. Whatever the words were. I didn't come to this world to be Yaitze. I thought it was a very, very strong line for me. In other words, there's something called Yaitze sein. And there's something called doing the mitzvah com- completely. Sometimes you dive in mincha. Yaitze sein. I have to daven, so let me get let me get over and done with it. And I'm done. You give tzedakah. Yaitze sein. A guy comes, you give him a pruta, you give him a dollar bill, and show my Yisrael. you yaitze. But he says, I didn't come to this world to be yaitze. Everything could be yaitze, and you could do it l'chatrila. Like I know a guy who, in order to be yaitze and shalashudas, he opens up a can of tuna, and each person takes a little tiny piece of tuna because the because it says in Allah he should eat fish. He's yaitze. That's the idea. Or you could just make a geschmack of salmon. Or Not the, when I was in Miami, a guy came over to me. Uh, Sandy, I won't say his whole name. Becky's father, you know who you are. And he said, since I said that story, every time he gives duck, it's on a whole different level. Much more. It's where it hurts him. It used to be Yaitz's side, and now because of this Maisa, he took it to heart. All right, here it is. Ain't noise and Mrs. Chavilas Chavilas. When you do two mitzvahs at a time, you're knocking out two saitas. So it's as if, okay, you, you know, already here, you, let's say, uh, next, next soita, next mitzvah. Each one is a special mitzvah. Each egla aruf is a mitzvah. You don't do two egla arufas at the same time. Zog de Gemara, Omar Abayo, Bisema, Rav Kahano, Loi Kashio. You have what I'm saying? So it's beautiful. It's Erev Pesach story on Erev Pesach with Chavilas Chavilas. Omar Abayo, Bisema, Rav Kahano. Says Gemara like this. Very posh. If you have two Goyhanim doing two Saitas, then it's not a problem with Chavilas Chavilas. The whole problem is one person trying to knock out two misses at the same time. But to bring two Saitas to the base of Midas, now you have an Afkimina. If she's a recesses and she's not going to have influence from another woman, so you could do it at the same time. But if you hold that it's that it's, uh, what do you call it? that it's, the problem is the pasuk, I saw, then you can't. But if you have two koyhanim, then it's okay. Even if you have the pasuk. Yeah. Because that coin is not doing it. It's a different coin. But koyin is a bit good there. So, the koyin grabs her clothes and rips it. Tonu Rabbanon, or poras reisha yisho. Eini elu reisha. It doesn't say in the Pasuk anything about the clothing. It says he should uncover her hair. Gufa, minayin. How do you know that you cover her body? Tamaloymer, ha'isha. The woman. M'kei ma tamaloymer, ha'paris roish. Lamech ha'koyin soyser sa'ara. So why does it say roish? What was talking about the head? If your entire body is uncovered, certainly the head, right? If you uncover other parts that are usually not covered, so why should you, what, you're going to leave the shade a lot? So the Gemara says, it comes to tell us like this, and I, Rashi says a beautiful Lashem. It comes to say that you undo her braids. So in other words, let's say, uh, we know, let's say, a ponytail. The ponytail. Undo the ponytail. Why? Says Rashi, because now you have more hair that's uncovered. You want to get more uncovered. And by that meaning, you're uncovering, you're undoing braids and ponytails. Review the Haimer, Mahoya so Rabbi Yudha says, if that part of the body was attractive, you don't show it. The Memra, the Rabbi Yudha, Chayish Nirura. So you see, L'chayra, Rabbi Yudha is the one that is concerned about Hiruru. Rabbana Loi Chayish, Rabbana is not concerned. Baruch Hashem Yinalu. Now just to point out, Taisa says over there, and the first time we learned it, Taisa says, how could Rabbi Yudha be Chayish Nirura? The Torah says you have to uncover. So you uncover. You don't, you don't, you're not smarter than the Tyra. I'm worried that Bachar and younger people will see and they'll have your root. But the Tyra says don't cover. Says Taisvis, amazing, that Chachamim have the right to undo something in the Tyra when it's Beshev al Taisa. So we're saying we're not gonna the Tyra says to uncover, we're not gonna we're not gonna uncover because now we see there's a there's a good reason not to. We have younger people, whatever, but we're not going. Okay, it's not Dafka, younger people, everybody. But Rabbi Yudha felt it was, it, was, it was the time to make such a xero. In a Sheva al when you're not taking action, then Chacham have the right to do it. Oh, 
Now, so I don't, so I don't forget, because I might forget later. Taiz brings us a free that says the way they used to do it is the client would turn away, wouldn't look at the woman, and they would put up a sheet so the audience didn't see. But Taisa says that our Gemara can't be going like that because the whole point of removing the clothing is that the other women should be scared and say, look at the busha, look at the busyainas. And if nobody sees it, the, the, the audience doesn't see it, then, then it, doesn't have an, it doesn't have the effect that we want. Shani Connor to, on the steps and attract people to come watch it. We we're getting there. I don't know that we said that, but yeah, yeah. But it, so they come to see it, but not the actual. There's one. There's a few seconds that the client rips, grabs the clothing over here, rips it, and then they put it back with a string. So for those for those few moments, as it says the safri that you you put a you put a sheet. But he says it doesn't it doesn't work with what we're saying because we want people to be scared and embarrassed. <laughs> that point, those 15 seconds are very embarrassing, and other women should see it and be scared. But the Akupan Gemara says we have a problem here. Here we have a stira. We have Rabbi Yehuda and Chachamim. Rabbi Yehuda says I'm concerned about here. Chacham say no. And now we're going to see the exact opposite. Rabbi Yehuda says I'm not concerned about here. Chacham say we are concerned. When we kill somebody, somebody deserves Misa, so we cover his erva, just the front. Front and back. When I first read this, I thought Shekula erva means that her whole body is erva. But it makes no sense to learn like that. As Rashi points out, Shekula erva means that you could see the erva from front and back, and therefore you have to put something from front and back. You see, Chacham are concerned about here. They say, a man, you should stone him when he's completely naked, but not a woman. Why? Because of Hirur. Now, just to point out, the Torah says that a man should be, skila by a man should be when he's not clothed, but it doesn't say that about a woman. So, you could say, oh, they should be the same. Any Allah you have a man, you have a woman. But Chacham say no. That's if we feel like it. But we don't feel that's the right thing because of Yerur. But Rabbi Huda says, that's not a problem. You, you cycle her, Aruma. You just put a cloth on the, by the Arab, but, but in general, she's, she's Aruma. What's the whole reason? By a cycle. What if she's completely kosher? <coughs> and she goes home unexploded. The problem is that those pirchi kuhuna, and Rashi points out, it's not just pirchi kuhuna, it's anybody who's there, but usually you have kohanim in the Bishamidosh. There, they might make this woman crazy, says Rashi, for the rest of her life. That's the Zilash. The rest of her life. They saw her in this position, and now they're going to go and chep her for the rest of her life. Awesome, but by by uh, Niskela, somebody, let's say, let's say this woman, she was Michal Shabbos and they give her skila, Homestalka. She's gone from the world. So there's no problem. Even if they saw her, Aruma, it's not going to do anything to these people that were there and they witnessed it. Why? Because she's dead. But maybe if somebody sees that woman who's Niskal, unclothed, maybe it'll cause him to go chep another woman. No, that's not a problem. Very interesting. So Mara says that to chepa a woman, to go after a woman, a particular woman, it's a particular woman that he saw something in her. But if a person sees erva in one woman, he's not going to take it out on another one. That's what Mara says. The Bezal Chassid, who's one of the world's greatest uh, Shas people, he scored the highest score in Dirshu Shas test. So he told me that he, that he saw in a lot of Sfar, that one of the secrets of remembering Shas, remembering Tyra, is watching one's eyes. Shmir Sainai. Amarov. The Rabbi Yuda, the Rabbi Kasha, the Rabbana, the Rabbana, and the Kasha. I mean, the same contradiction that we have between Rabbi Yuda that over, in our Sugi says we're concerned about here. 
and that sugi of skila says he's not concerned. The same exact cash we have our abana. In our sugi, they say we're not concerned about her. And in the, the sugi of skila, they say they are concerned about her. Says the Gemara. Hello, Omar Rav, the review that the review the cash of Shanina. This answer that you just said this second is to to answer Rabbi Yehuda. Tafches on the base. Rabbanan, Rabbanan, not be like cash. So. Over here, Chacham, Chacham say that by skilo we're choshes for hirur like ash. Hacha time am I? Mishum v'nasru kol anoshim. All the women should be concerned. Hasam in the chayisu gadol is a so sponsors. I can, if I can read it, it'll be great. Sponsor that's locha. Of our lady, and Eliza Simcha Shena Masha, and Eliza Simcha Shena Masha about Brocha. That's Locha for the Magishir. Members of the HBA group and their families are main. What does it say over there? 31. Okay, so we got to start moving a little bit. So, it says the Gemara when a person dies, the death of Skila, that is the biggest deterrent a person can see in their life. They see a woman who's Machal Shabbos. They put her on a high place. They throw her down. She doesn't die. People start throwing stones on her. She dies a slow, terrible death. Nobody's going to be Michal Shabbos again. There's no need to also unclothe her. Maybe, yeah. Listen, you know, you want to really bring the point home. So kill her and unclothe her. Now nobody's going to be Michal Shabbos. Yeah, we, we said it a number of times throughout Shas, we have this, that when it comes to Misa, uh, I forgot exactly where it was, it was like, do we kill the person like with the slow stray or do we give them the lead and they die quickly? If you have a choice of two deaths, one is quicker than the other, you give the person the quicker death because at the end of the day, it's our brother and we love them and if you were in that position, how would you want to die? You would want to die quickly, not a slow death. And Mamela, over here, we're giving her, we give her one out of two, we don't have to give her too much. There was a the famous Maisa, there was a guy that said that he wants to die exactly like his grandfather died. His grandfather died in his sleep, and he doesn't want to die like the three passengers that he had in the back seat. Zogdigimar, who's screaming? Yep. Zogdigimar. Broiler, but after the Rechimar, broiler, Misi Yafa. Let me do Rav Nachman Tanoi. So, this idea of broiler, Misi Yafa, of Vahav the Rechimar, that you should choose a good death for this person. Maybe people are a Chulgar of Nachman. Loy, the Kul Almi is Luhu, the Rav Nachman. So, let's say that that's the Machlag is over here. Broiler, Misi Yafa. Loy, Broiler, Misi Yafa. The review that says, should unclothe her. Chacham say, should unclothe her. Chacham say, brotherly means yafa. We should be nice to the to the woman. Don't do it. And and Rabbi Yudha says, forget it. I'm not. I'm not so much. I'm after the rech. She deserves misa. So we'll unclothe her. Says Gemara Loi. The kula almi is luder of Nachman. Perhaps no. Everybody agrees. Ter of Nachman. Everybody agrees. You should be brother misa yafa. Vacha bakam and pelgim. Mar sovar b'zioni odiflei tfei mitzayr degufei. So listen to this, Kishayla. I asked people today, actually. What does a person prefer? Does a person prefer to die quickly, but naked? Or slowly and clothed? You hear? That's, it's a Shiloh. In, in, you see, when, when you throw a stone on somebody and they're wearing clothing, it won't kill them so quickly. Because they have that protection, they have that extra layer. Or perhaps a person is going to die anyways. He doesn't so, care so much about the design. He'd rather die quickly and without clothing. That's exactly the Shaila here. Most people probably say, people I know say, nah, rather be clothed. Ah, it's going to be a little slower, fine, but why? Such a design. But no, that's exactly the Machalik is here. The is, is, is more, he, he prefers the Bezionis over. The tsar of the body. That's the machlokes. Fine. 
she, if she was wearing white clothing, we give her black. So we had just, why not? But I know he worked on it hard, Yoshi, so got to get some mileage out of it. The Berkeley lady, oh, she's wearing white clothing. Look at her lips for a second. Yeah, everything became, she, she wears from white to black, and uh, they make her maneuver. Says the Gemara, Tana. If she looks better in black clothing, give her ugly clothes. If she had rings, uh, nose rings, chokers, take it all off. Says Gemara Pshita, what? You're trying to be a So of course you're going to take off the jewelry. Says Gemara Ashton, you be a boy, certainly should take off the gold. Says Gemara about the same law, maybe if she's wearing jewelry. That's, that itself is a joke. It's a bizarre in Kedami Inji. Look at this guy. He doesn't have a stitch of clothing on, but he's wearing his shoes. He's walking the street with only shoes, nothing else. So it's a joke. People make fun. So here she also. She's missing her clothing. She, 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 her hair is uncovered. Oh, but look at all the beautiful jewelry she has. So they make fun of her. They take it off. And after everything, you bring a chavala mitzri. The worst type of rope possible. Is it important to have this Egyptian string? Or maybe not. We see we made a whole thing out of the Egyptian string that it's Midah Kenegid Midah. She showed off with the, with the belt, as Gemara is going to say here. So we go and we bring, bring a Chavala Mitzri. What if you don't have a Chavala Mitzri? So Taisa explains, so if you don't have a Chavala Mitzri, I, I would have a Havim, meaning not that it should push off the whole water and the water is not going to work. But maybe I should wait two hours until they go to the right hardware store and they find that chavala. Maybe I should push, wait a few minutes, wait a couple of days until you can find the chavala mitzri. Which chavala mitzri is the chavala It could be any chavala. Right. So any rope, rope works. Any rope works. Right. But we use chavala mitzri, bedafka, to show her it's the worst, it's the opposite of a, of a, what is it called? What's the name of the, I forgot the name of the brand already. Uh, the opposite of a Ferragamo belt. She wore Ferragamo belt to, to entice. So we take the, what's the, here's the $600 belt, the $1,000 belt, and the two cent rope that they make in the Mitzrayim, it's all, it's the worst rope you could possibly get. It's me the me though. So do you get a nice smooth rope that they use on a, on a, on a ship and this and that because you don't have a Chavala Mitzri? Or no, we wait. Let's push off the procedure, go back home. We're going to order on Amazon Chavala Mitzri. And when it shows up, come back to the Beis HaMikdash. Is the whole point that her clothing shouldn't fall off because he just ripped the top off so maybe everything will fall off. So you can do any kind of belt, anything. What's the whole point of Chavala Mitzri? Because he, she tried to entice the boyel with this special belt, the the exact opposite. And what? It's ma'akev. You have to wait for it. So again, Tysus points out, ma'akev over here doesn't mean that if you use any other rope other than a mitzri, the water won't work. What ma'akev means is maybe we should push it off a little bit. It says, Mufurish in the Bray Sabach, maybe chavala mitzri, because roila, the ma'akev. And it says before in the bride, so why? The point of this Chavala Mitzri, the main point is that their clothing shouldn't fall off. The secondary point is that it's a Midah Kenegid Midah because of what she did. So since the main point here is that her clothing shouldn't fall off, so then you can use any kind of Chavala Mitzri, it's not Ma'akev. Any kind of Chavala, period, not Mitzri. The Chala writes, Leroy's by your era. So in the gallery, anybody that wants to come look, could look. Says, Gemara Gufakash, we have a stira. Why? It seems like even men can watch. But the Tani, and then it says, only women should be watching. It seems like men should not be watching. No, you have to, it doesn't mean Noshim. It means Anoshim. Sorry. Anoshim. Fakir. 
When it says in the beginning of the Mishnah, you call it Raya, it means women, Anoshim, not Anoshim, but it's going Anoshim. Amali Rava, we call it by Raya Khtani, it seems like men could also watch. Very similar to what we had, and we have a lot of times in Shas that Abai says it one way, and Rav comes and says, Look, but it doesn't fit into the words. Mamish, we had that yesterday, right? Hello, I'm a Rav, we call it Raya. No, men could also watch. Which the Gabi relation to Nashi. Is there a vav here? I can't even see. Wow. I see something floating there. V'nashem chayov es l'roiso. Says Rava, what's going on here with the women? It says nashem mutares. It says in the it says in the Mishnah that her shifcha, people that she's close to, shouldn't come. They're aser to see. And Mamela it says lashen that women could see. But what it really means to say is women are mechuyev to see. We want women, women should be worried and scared about secluding themselves with men. And we want them to see this. So there's a chiyuv to bring women there. What does it say there? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm reading now from, here, I have glasses. Okay. So they shouldn't do like the Mizima, they they see it and Shalma Yisrael. Says the Mishnah. The Mishnah, the official Mishnah is sponsored. Lili Lishmas, our dear Chavar, Avi Mandelbaum, our Menashe, and Moisha Ari. The Mishnah is sponsored. So this is the idea of Mida Kenegid Mida. There's a very chosh of a rav in our shul in our Yisrael, our Mabit Shemesh. His name is Rav Aaron Pesin. He wrote, I don't remember, I don't know, 30, 40 svar. Maybe six, seven of them are called Mida Kenegid Mida. They're this thick, each one. And he goes through the entire Torah to show how Kishbaruch was not be Mida Kenegid Mida. Everything is Mida Kenegid Mida. And it's to, to, to show us, and it actually gives chizuk. A person does a mitzvah, in this way, his schar in this world comes in the same way, in the same place. A person does an Avera, it's to give us chizuk. It shows us that there's a there's a in everything we do. The way a person acts, that's how they measure and give him back. He kished us atzma la Avera. She dressed up for an Avera. Hamokoim nivla. So she, they make her disgusted. He gilsos us at small avera. She exposes herself avera. Mokum gila leo. She goes right there in front of everybody in Charney Corner. Bayorach etchila baavera. Baavera etchila vachikach better. How better? Should wear my glasses and show me Israel or do drops. Okay, don't show anybody. He gives us atzma la avera. I'm not giving nivlo. He gives us atzma la avera. I'm not giving gilo leal. By yorch etchila ba avera etchila. Vachka chabetet. I think it's fascinating because the 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 pr- the pirte pratim. And Rashi explains here the first contact baser la baser is the thigh. And memela the thigh gets hit first. The second contact point is the stomach. The stomach gets each and every nikuda. The way she did avera. That's how she gets. Punished. So that the people see it's all minashomayim, it's all ashgacha, and there's a chajmin to every single thing. Lefichach, tilka, hayarech, tchila, that's why the thigh gets hit first. Vakach, abaten, ushar kol aguf, leipalat. Every single part of the body was involved in the avera, every single part of the body is going to explode and get punished. Omar Rabbi Yaisi, Avakav de Mido, Bemido, Betela. Even though the the Dalit Mrs. Bezdin are no longer available, bimida loy bato. Similar to the Dal Misa is that was not bato. Let me just ask you a question, Rabbi Yisai. A car accident. Somebody gets killed loy in a car accident. Which one of the four Mises is that? Like stoning, skila. Everybody agrees? What do you say? Chenek. Why? And what's a car? Car accident? 
you get die, people die from the bing, no? I mean, if the guy's head gets knocked off in a car accident, that would be saif. Well, a chayr, it should be skill. I think they're right. I think the, that a car accident is similar to skill. Yeah. What? Right. That's just like a stoning. Yeah. Right. That's what they say. Stoning. Well, some people die from the head being removed. Yeah, if they get ejected from the, the, the car, they go through the windshield and the head gets chopped off. But it's not like still smashing. That would still be technically, it's, it's more of a ripping where it's actually cutting the head off. We'll go into the gory detail later. Okay. You're in the hotel garage. <laughs> Does that really happen when people go through the windshield, their head gets cut off? Yeah. Every time? Or that's just. Not every time, but it can happen. Yeah. Can happen. Okay. One thing you look for in a person, uh, an accident is for the head. You see a body with the head. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Afapi Shabbat Sanhedrin. You don't have the, the Sanhedrin and the Arab Mises lay bottle. The four Misa is one bottle. Well, you bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you, we see that there is no skill anymore? Elodin Arba Misa is loy bottle. If a person is chayv skila, or noifel men agag, or chayderastoi. So either a person will fall off a roof, a ladder, a roof, or chayderastoi, says Rashi, a lion comes and eats him. Yeah, because the, the other joke was so gishmag, we'll say another on gishmag joke. They, they threw a, a Jew into a, a lion cage. The Jew walks over to the lion, and whisper something in the ear, and the lion walks away. What did you tell him? I said, by us Jews, after the food comes the drushes. Okay. Nobody got it either. But the guys in line, maybe some of them got it. You got it. Okay, finally. Zogdi Gemara. So, you get killed by a wild animal. I saw something scary because I like going on safaris. It said in Tanzania, that's where we went. I think 600 or 800 people died this year from lions. Something crazy. A l- hundreds of people died from lions. Not, it's not like a, a two, three people. Six to 800 people, something like that. Sugar. Okay, there's a guy with the, the whole story. The guy had his window open. The lion jumped through, killed him. And the, okay. We just sit there with an the open jeep and we look, we wave, we take pictures. <laughs> Tyson points out that also in the time of the Beis Amigdash, they had this car accident thing, they had this thing. Why? Because people, there's people that, that are killers, but they don't get Mrs. Bezin. Why? There's no Adam. There's no Asra, no Adam. Those people, they fall off the ladder, whatever they need, they have to get Chanak. Then Tyson points out another thing. You know the famous Gemara that says that if somebody killed somebody, Bishagi. And somebody killed somebody in Mezid, and there's no Aiden for either one of them. And this one goes up the ladder, this one's right below, and he falls off the ladder and he kills him. So it says Taisvis, but the guy in the bottom, if he's a Ritzeyach, he deserves Saif. He deserves to cut his head off. Why does he get killed by Skila? Falling off a ladder and hitting him in the head is Skila. So Taisvis must be talking about that he had something in his head, hand. Let's say he was cutting a tree with a knife. When he fell off, he. The, the knife hit him in the head and killed him like that. Okay, fine, something like that. I go, you see that idea that this is an old idea that people get killed different ways because the chayv mis in different ways. It doesn't mean to say that every single person that gets killed in an accident is chayv uh, skilo, and every person that falls off a ladder is chayv skilo. Doesn't that's that's not what? It, but it's possible that people that that are chayv certain misas they get killed in certain ways. Mission is chayv sreifa. Or no you could get killed in a fire. Or no or the venom burns his body like Sreifa. Mishis Chayv Ariga, he needs his head to be chopped off. Or Nimsa the Malchus, either the the government does it. Or listen by my love, or some robbers. Mishis Chayv Chanika, choking. Or Teva Benar, or he drowns. Or Mais the Sunchani, or he dies some terrible like a. Like an asthma kind of disease. How do we know this idea that the way that a person acts, that's how he gets treated back? Shenema, is the 
the measure, the exact measure, b'shachat yirivenu, ain't the elo saw. The so saw is a certain measurement. Minay the rabbi is targum chazi targum of different measurements. Kav chazi kav roiv of chazi roiv a toim buuch lo minay kav loimar ki chol soy. All the measurements. Soyim berash. When I in shukol pruto pruto mitzdarefes the chesh ben gadol. I know when a person does a small avera, not a small avera, not a little lashon, not a lot. It goes this one big chesh ben aten. Tam loimar achas la achas. And that Reboisai you can have on the test, I believe, which we already learned. The Gemara explains this psukim better. Have a wonderful yontif. Yishkoi for coming out. Have a wonderful day. And Bezer Hashem, Motse Yontif, or Motse Shav, as I should say. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in the hotel. But Chalamoy, I probably will be here. Uh, details to follow. Yishkoi, thank you. A good yontif.